Hey guys, it's Swather and I'm back with a new video. So this is a video I've been wanting to make for quite a while, but I've never really had anyone else to make it with. But that's changed. I he have with me here today... Hello. Maya! So I haven't told Maya what we're doing today because it would ruin the fun of it if she actually knew. So today we're doing the zombie tag. I haven't really seen this on YouTube before. If it has been done, you can link me to it below. But I haven't seen it, so I'm just doing it with my own questions and stuff right now. I've never heard of this before. I, yeah, I think I've never seen it before, so I think I'm making it up. Okay. You crazy woman. I know. So, so basically, things. for the zombie tag, I will be asking you questions, and you have to answer them. And it's basically zombie apocalypse okay. themed questions. Okay. I'd answer you the questions first, and you say them, then I do them uh. after. Okay, question one. The zombie apocalypse has started and you have to choose four real life people to be in your team. It can be friends, family, celebrities, your choice. Who would you pick and why? Oh god. Um, Stuart, because he always has survival stuff with him and he knows how to do stuff. And he can probably carry me, like, forever. So, if I get injured, that's one. Um, no, you, because... You know about zombies and stuff. Um, oh god. You know about zombies and you're pretty cool. And you know, I could survive with you without wanting to kill you. Duncan, I think, because he would calm me down a lot. And plus, if he was dead, I would be really upset. <laughs> so, how many is that? Three. Three. Any another one? One more. Damn it. Who would I pick? Remember, it can be celebrities or family. I'm thinking or celebrities. Anyone. Which celebrity would I want? Um, Everyone wants to choose a celebrity at I least know. one point in their career. Career? career. Survival. Theme. Survival <laughs> career. You're the fired. Career surviving the apocalypse. You're fired. You're fired. Go get eaten. I wouldn't pick Bear Grylls because he'd be good to survive with, but he'd also try and eat us if you know we ran out of food. So I'm pretty sure he's a survival expert, not a cannibal. But where's the light? There must be a line. I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure he has moral things. I mean, if he if no, he starts but... eating people, then he's no better than a zombie. And people would <laughs> kill him anyway. Okay, okay, go on. Emma Stone. Emma Stone. Emma Stone. And there we have it. Emma Stone! The people I would choose to be in my team are, obviously, you. Oh, yay. Yeah. Because, you know, you're fun, you're you. And it's always good to have someone on your survival crew who you can actually get along with and know what to kill at some point. So. Exactly. I would choose Donkey because it's Donkey and he can. Mm -hmm. I'm laughing we both need Donkey. We, <laughs> we, we both need him. We both need him. I would choose Bear Grylls for his survival instinct. Oh, right. So he's yeah. good at hunting animals, so he would be able to help us with food and also find a place to camp and survive. And he would know which animals and which plants and mushrooms you can eat. So, mm. you know, Bear Grylls, he's an obvious choice. And my fourth and final person would be Troy Savan. Because it's Troy Sivan. Yeah. He's a singer and he's funny and he's Oh, he's, he's not the blonde one. He's the Australian one. Yeah, I think you're thinking of Tyler. I was thinking of Tyler. I mean, I would love to have him as well, but if it's between that, I'd probably choose Aww, Troy. Okay. okay. I mean, Troy's got that singing voice. Just like, he can just <laughs> sing he and can just he, sing. he can keep us all happy. And, and yeah. lure the zombies towards us. And... So yeah, those are my four choices. Yeah. Troy Sivan, you, Donkey, and... My favourite Troy Sivan before me. During the apocalypse, what would be your personal weapon? Real weapon, you can't have anything like a lightsaber or okay. anything like that. It has to be real proper weapons. Mm, a machete, I think. A machete? Nice choice. Yeah. Because you don't need to re- because if you had a shotgun or something, you would run out of ammo. Plus the noise of it would and the bring noise. all of the zombies But if you. you had a machete, you could like hack through anything. I guess, yeah, I guess the only downside to that is you have to get up close and personal with the zombies. Or you could just yeah. run. Run away! They've also got to come a point where you're going yeah. to have to fight. So. Yeah. yeah, I would. A tank! Mis mis weapon, not vehicle. Weapon. Okay. It's a type of weapon. But it's a vehicle. No, it's a vehicle with weapons. Okay. I would probably go for either a machete or like a katana or something. Okay. With a sword of any type, you can get the same effect of the machete, but you can also do it from slightly further away. Mm. So yeah, I'd probably go for a type of sword. Okay, during the apocalypse, would you prefer to keep on the run? constantly moving from place to place or find a base to secure and defend. I think my nature would say find a base and defend but I'd also be extremely paranoid 
so I want to keep on moving. Yeah, but you'd be paranoid but, everywhere else. When you're yeah. moving, you go paranoid. Is there something in that building? What yeah. if the zombies around the corner? No, so I you think gotta be I'm a zombie apocalypse, you gotta be paranoid everywhere you yeah, go. No, I would, um, I think I would get a base and build up defences. But I would have like an escape route planned out immediately. Yeah. That would be my thing. I, will... I, I think I would choose to have a base as well. With a base, you've got more options. You can find places to keep food supplies. Mm. You can have more food supplies. When you're on, the, when you're constantly moving, you can only have as much as you can carry. But in a base, you can have supplies of it. You can have we extra weapons stored yeah. around. You can build up defenses. So yeah, a base is probably the best option. And well. you can have more people there. And you know, if you're injured, then you've got just... somewhere to lie down and treat them instead of just leaving them to die. Okay, well, since we've established that we would both have a base during the apocalypse, where would you pick and why? I would say an abandoned cat. No, an, yes. An abandoned cat? No, an abandoned cat, yeah. We just set up <laughs> just, shop in its ribs and just kind of throw its just, skull at just people. Just cut it open, just stay away from my cat. <laughs> yeah, I think an abandoned castle because you've already got, you know, the big fortifications and you've already got, you know, maybe some guns lying about. You're like, who knows? But, you know, you've got the big massive fortifications, you've got bits to get out, and you can see them all coming. So if it's on top of a hill. Yeah. It is weird how similar we think in Zombie Apocalypse, because mm -hmm. I would also choose a castle. Oh, sweet. Specifically, Stirling Castle. I was thinking Stirling Castle! Because historically, it is one of the best defended places yeah. in Scotland. I mean, one side is just sheer cliff, mm -hmm. so zombies aren't going to be able to climb up that. Because zombies can't climb. Yeah. Everyone well, knows that. And the only other way is a path leading up to it from the hill, mm -hmm. which can be easily uh, defended. Plus, I've got the big walls and gates and fences around it. Yeah. Plus, inside you've got all the swords and axes on the walls. You've got all the food stores, like for the actual castle itself. It's, and there's the cafe bit. There's the cafe bit. All <laughs> the food and drink. It's yeah. well defended naturally. It's you've got perfect layout perfect. of everything. You can see any zombies coming, and you've got weapons already there. Okay, so during the apocalypse, be it in the early days or in the late days, either a member of your family, a friend, or a significant other is yeah. bitten oh, shit. and okay. is going to turn. What would you do? Would you, what would you do in that situation? Um, if the responsibility of killing them fell to you, could you kill them? I don't like thinking it, but I think I probably could because, yeah, I think I probably could. I could kill someone easily. Mm. If they're going to turn, I would just, you know, just tell them you stay. I'd wait till they're asleep or go mm. back to me. Yeah. Just can't behind them just. So, final question. If you're in this group of people and you are bitten. Oh god. How would you deal with it? Would you Badly. kill yourself? Would you tell the group and let them decide what happens? Or would you run off and get as far away from them as you could? I would probably run away and kill myself. If I was bitten, I would just kill what myself. Miss them? What do you mean? Like if, if you were aiming for your head and then you shot yourself but then you missed and then you know you didn't have enough brain power to to do it again so you're just... See what I would do is... Yeah. Right guys that's it for this week. I <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video. If you did you know give it a thumbs up and you can comment below. You can answer the questions down below as well. And since this is a tag game that I, I've decided I'm going to tag a few people Decide. and you know, they can do the video as well. They can do it with someone else or on your own. I don't know if Maya because it's more fun. Yeah. I am going to tag Kether Jaws 01094, Matt Cognetti, AJ Say What, and because I'm a cheeky chancer and who thinks you need to do things and take a chance to get noticed, I'm also going to tag Troy Savan. Oh god. You probably won't ever see it, but you know, if it does, then yeah. And of course, you can check out Maya's channel. She'll be starting making videos sometime soon. Yep. Mix of vlogs, music, and video Very gameplay. bad gameplay. There's no videos there yet, so... Yeah, nothing yet, but there will be soon. There hopefully. will be. And that's it for this week, guys. And if you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel, and you can get all my new content as it comes out. Bye! Bye.